And it's a puppy he caught surprise. And Griffithy. Do you love Sir Grifflet and Lady Poppy? What about the dragons? Let's gibbity do this. Sir Grifflet and Lady Poppy were exploring the outer reaches of the Grifflet property when they came upon a strange river. Not being able to go around it or under it, they took this bridge over it. We went across the bridge. Having crossed the raging river, Sir Grifflet spied a dragonfly sitting upon a leaf. It was an omen of the adventure they were about to have. Sir Grifflet, Lady Poppy, we have news of a dragon on your property. A dragon? We saw him pleasantly. At that time, Lady Poppy scarcely had any idea the metal, the grit, the bravery that would be required before they met the end of their quest. Oh no, tis the witch's house. Here, I'm going to show it to you. On second thought, the witch's house is a spooky place. We shall go another time. But today, we seek a dragon. Sir Grifflet, is this the old tower that your father built? No. No? I'm ready to you believe the dragon could be in there? Would that it would be so easy. Lady Poppy, Sir Grifflet, and the old peasant woman came at last to a waterfall. As you can imagine, it was absolutely impossible for them to go under it, and they couldn't go around it. So they had no choice but to take the bridge over the waterfall. It was an exceedingly old peasant woman. <laughs> Sir Griflet, be this the Misty Lake? Oh, I see a waterfall in the Misty Lake. Do you think it's a water dragon? Yeah. Hmm, we must be cautious then. Griffin, tis a skull of a dragon. Is this one that your father did fell? No. No. Hmm. They passed by the Great Lake, where perhaps a water dragon lived. Upon further inspection, we did find a kraken, and it is well known that dragons and kraken will not abide one another. I hadn't noticed, but the old beggar woman has a halfling strapped to her. A Tis but a small hobbit. Chiglis, what? There's a mountain, I believe we should climb it. Why? 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 Careful, Sir Grifflet, Lady Poppy. Such a fall would be treacherous to your horses. <laughs> Sir Grifflet, Lady Poppy. The old peasant woman with the halfling. Help me. She's stuck. Sir Griffith, can you help her? No. Lady Poppy. What a dear. What a dear. Thank you, Lady Poppy. The woman is very old and we wouldn't want the halfling to injure himself. The deeper we delved into the forest, the more the wind seemed to whisper maddening fragments just beyond our hearing. Griffith, Lady Poppy, extremely old woman. There's, there's an overturned tree here. It's as if a great dragon came through. A hoarded, terrible worm. Maybe he was really old. We must beware. Certainly not as old as you, <laughs> beggar woman. At last, Sir Grifflet and Lady Poppy arrived at the end of the tall mountain. 
They were on the very southern border of their land. Sir Griffith, right. what did you find? Nothing. Was it a zombie? No. Oh, you were just mistaken. I worry about Sir Griffith. He is seeing dragon. zombies in every shadow. Stir. Is the mark of the water dragon? What? Ah, uh, the old woman's right. Tis the worm's very mark. We must be careful. Lady Poppy, is that Uni the unicorn over there? Where? Yeah. Well, point in its direction. It is Uni, the most powerful unicorn in the land. Tis a omen of positive things. Lady Poppy, what have you done? I made a rock stack. Lady Poppy made a rock stack to guide us home. Thanks, Lady no. Poppy. Sir Grifflet too has decided to make a rock stack. And me. And Lady Poppy will make another. No, no more. No more. Okay. And now we eat it. Nice, Sir Grifflet. Very nice. Also nice, Lady Poppy. Very nice. Lady Poppy has found a worm. He's doing the worm dance. <laughs> Alas, it's not the not the worm we're looking for. Sir so Grifflet, it's the watchtower that marks the southern point of your land. Sir so Grifflet, we're beyond your lands. Where do you think the water dragon is? Up this trail or over by the lake? Over by the lake. Over by the lake then. Let us look. I smell the worm stench from this stretch. Yes, me too, Lady Poppy. We should go up to the ancient citadel. I sense something. The old beggar woman has walked nearly as far as she can. A bridge crosses over a sinkhole that leads to ancient evil. A final mountain path leads to the ancient citadel of the kings, where it's entirely possible the water dragon has taken up it residence. It leads to our car. It leads to our car, everybody. It also, as Lady Poppy noted leads to our car. Our carriage, rather. Sir Grifflet, we have arrived at the Citadel of Kings, erected by your father in times of old to fight orcs and goblins and such. And, and a water dragon. And yes, the home of the water dragon. Ladies, it's the water dragon. Make haste. Poppy, Lady Grifflet, turn and fight the dragon in this clearing. There's plenty of... Yes, Lady Sir, Poppy, Grifflet, fight, fight the beast. Even the peasant woman has some magic to work. Experience! The water dragon is fleeing! We are victorious! <laughs> Sir Grifflet, what was your favorite part of the battle? My sword. Your sword, yes. Yeah, I tell you what, three beasts. Tis an ancient blade crafted by elves. I tell you what, three beasts. Mm. Yes, it cast a sleep spell upon the dragon. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and ring that bell, baby.